some news actually comes out maybe like two or three times a month. And it has to do with the Deshaun Watson news. Now, I haven't really talked about this on here. The Deshaun Watson uh, sexual assault or sexual harassment allegations. We're not going to talk about that, actually. We're going to talk about um, the news that goes around all the time saying that Deshaun Watson is going to be an eagle. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and dispel that because I think that a lot of it is rumors and a lot of people like Adam Schefter kind of want to create buzz. It's kind of his job as an insider. And I think that what he's trying to get at is Deshaun Watson would be the great place to go for Deshaun Watson would be the Philadelphia Eagles. And not necessarily Deshaun Watson's going to go to the Eagles because, first of all, we don't even know if Deshaun Watson is going to get traded. I don't know if I said, did I say Deshaun Jackson? I meant Deshaun Watson. We don't know if Deshaun Watson is going to be traded anyway. You know, the the Texans could just decide, I mean, they could decide, hey, you know, we're just going to sit you here and, you know, until you decide to play, you're going to play or we're going to fine you. So sit on the bench and do your thing and we're just going to play this out and see what happens. But I think that everyone else is still, you know, waiting for the allegations. And obviously, obviously if Deshaun Watson is a sexual predator, um, I don't want him on the Eagles. I don't want him anywhere close to the Eagles. I think that that would just be, you know, he could be the best quarterback in the NFL. I just, that's just a PR nightmare as far as it goes. And, you know, we have a lot of female Eagles fans and, you know, even male Eagles fans, people who have been sexually harassed or sexually assaulted. That's just not a good look. It's, it's just not a good look for the Philadelphia Eagles, especially with the fact that we employed Michael Vick for about five years and that was kind of a stain on our record. So I don't really want the Sean Watson being here, but the thing is with the Sean Watson, I said this before with the possibility of the Eagles drafting a quarterback in the first round. If Deshaun Watson is on the Eagles, I do not want Jalen Hurts anywhere close to the Eagles. Because if you look at the makeup of the sh- of uh, Jalen Hurts, he's one of those guys who he's going to want to be the starter. He's going to strive to be the starter. He's not like any other backup quarterback who, you know, they might be relatively unmotivated. They're like, hey, you know, I'll hold the clipboard until the starter gets injured or something like that, like kind of like a Chase Daniel. But if if Jalen Hurts is on the roster, he is going to strive and he is going to push in order to be a starting quarterback. And we are essentially... We might have a, we would have a situation kind of like that we had last year. So if Deshaun Watson was an Eagle, which the Eagles have draft capital to trade for Deshaun Watson, if he's an Eagle, I don't want Jalen Hurts anywhere close to the organization or the locker room because not, not that I think that Jalen Hurts is a toxic player or is a toxic personality, but I, I just don't want that competition there. I just don't need it, you know, in that situation where, you know, you have a guy like Deshaun Watson who is a very good quarterback. Deshaun Watson is a very good quarterback. And if he was on the Eagles, I'm going to say it right now, he would be the best quarterback in Eagles history without even taking a snap. But I don't want Jalen Hurts there because I know that Jalen Hurts will strive as hard as he can in order to be the starter. And the moment Deshaun Watson goes down, and possibly Jalen Hurts plays well, they would have to stick with Jalen Hurts, and now we owe Deshaun Watson that mega contract that he received because I think he's on the final year of his rookie contract. I think the fifth-year option is what it is, and then more money would kick in the next year. So then we'd be in a possibility where you know we're going to have to possibly trade uh, Deshaun Watson again or possibly make that same mistake we made with Wentz and Foles where we would try to get rid of Jalen Hurts and then what if Jalen Hurts plays better than Deshaun Watson? The fan base is split again and everyone's like, you shouldn't have traded Jalen Hurts. So it's like kind of like a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. I'm not going out here and saying that Jalen Hurts is better than Deshaun Watson because I'm not saying that because I haven't seen Jalen Hurts be as consistently good as Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson's one of those guys who could throw 30 touchdowns in a season, and I don't even know how many rushing touchdowns he would have. What he did last season with that porous team and that uh, coaching staff that was kind of like doing a, a rollover or musical chairs, 
he still played well. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Despite the fact that he didn't have DeAndre Hopkins anymore. So the fact of the matter is I like Deshaun Watson as a quarterback. I wouldn't want Deshaun Watson on the Eagles if he was a sexual deviant, which I, I, I don't know. I, I'm not saying that the allegations are untrue. It's just, you know, whether or not the civil charges that get pressed on him end up getting dropped or something like that. But I don't know what's going to happen in that situation. I just don't want to touch the guy with a 10-foot pole. But if he ended up being an Eagle, I wouldn't want Jalen Hurts there. Because I just think that that would just cause too many issues. It would, it, you know, I just don't want a competition here. I know I like competition when it comes to Carson Wentz and Jalen Hurts if they were to compete against each other, just because Carson Wentz has something to prove. Deshaun Watson doesn't have something to prove. If he's your quarterback, he would be your quarterback. You would consider him to be your starting quarterback. 